this thing. That's crazy. Dang. What happened, man? There was no storm. There was no crazy wind or anything. It just like, I think it just rotted out. I think we can do something with this. I think in this section might be the best. It looks like it's probably the strongest. And uh, it's the size that I can actually get out of here. This tree was very unhealthy. How's that house treating you, huh? <laughs> Log secured. There you go. I had to have 10 hundred open my spray paint for me. That's why I don't use Krylon. It's just water with food coloring in it. So I have real spray paint in the house. <laughs> there we go. Bro, your hand style is so good, man. <laughs> that graph is strong. Please leave. We should put that up front of my house and then we won't get any guests. Please leave. <laughs> There's the log that will become the future amazing thing that Mr. Arnolf Timberworks has floating around inside of his head. I have no idea what's gonna happen here. Solid man. Super sustainable. Straight from your backyard to your studio. Now please leave. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where are we going? Ten hundred out. We're gonna pick up a log. Alright. Oh, <laughs> That's so heavy. Don't try. Yeah, try. What the? Most trees shake when I get that. Super mega! Ow! Hey, there's a worm! You gotta make sure no animals are hurt in the process. Because <laughs> you fling it across the yard. <laughs> <laughs> It's impressive. Yeah, it is. Can we put that camera on this tripod? Yeah. That's an accomplishment in and of itself. I didn't even throw my back out. I think this trip was a success. On this end, the center is a little soft. Uh, I got another little hole here. Not sure where that goes. So this side actually looks even worse. This is pretty soft. There's this hole here. I don't know how far that runs through. So I think I might start with this side, see what happens. Look at this wood. <laughs> Look at this rich red color. It's cool green. Really excited with the way this looks. I'm curious about the weight, so I'm gonna try and weigh this log. It's pretty heavy. Whoa, is that my scale? Yes! No, oh, you better put a towel under that. Oh my god. I wish he had a baby. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Talk to mom about that. No, mom really doesn't like the baby. <laughs> That's not just a baby. It's a baby bun. <laughs> Baby's bite. Yeah, sure. <laughs> bite. Well, now is the time I have to make some big decisions. I got this side of the log that has the pith that is a little bit rotten, but the rest seems pretty solid. So for this hole, I think I can work around that. So this might be good for the bottom because I'm gonna drill out the center. Now on this side of the log, I've got this little guy here and I've got this rotten piece here. This is pretty soft. I think if I cut at a nice angle, I might be able to cut this rotten part out. Um, and this green looks really cool on this side. So I think I'll make this the top. All right, all right. I think that looks pretty cool. It's solid and uh, it's got character to it. Keep shaping this thing up. I tend to make a huge mess. It's good to start fresh with a new project coming to the workbench. Birdhouse update, looking good. What the heck? 
<laughs> Definitely thought she was dead at first, but turns out she was just snoozing. Heck yeah. Oh, that's great. I think that looks sweet. <laughs> Super excited to get into the rest of this. Yes. Now, what did I do with that pencil? <laughs> So, oh. All right. I'm really happy I got the car washed. It's fine. It'll blow off. You'll blow off. Dang it. Oh yeah. Now the question is, how do I drill from the top all the way to the bottom to wind the cord through? So I got these, uh, long drill bits, but they're not quite long enough to get all the way through the log. So I'm going to have to come from both sides and try and meet in the middle. That's going to be tough. This is the part I'm most nervous about in this whole project. I don't know how this is going to go. Only one way to find out. Take the electric hand planer with a really light pass to get rid of some of these marks. I might create another angle here. A few more little angles, a few more just kind of slight modifications, and I think we'll be here. Okay, now for the sanding part. Same as with the electric hand planer. If the grain is going this way and you have an angle coming down, you really want to sand with the sandpaper coming across like this. If you sand like this, it's gonna rough up the surface because of the way it's hitting the fibers. This way it's pushing the fibers down. Same with the electric planer, as you can rough up the surface. So you have to be considerate about where the grain is going. Given this a pretty good sanding with 120 on the belt sander, but there's still a lot of lines showing up in the finish. So I'm gonna have to jump up to 220 grit. Now we will test some finishes on the bottom of the piece. The main objective with this finish is to preserve the natural beauty of the wood. Um, it's not going to face a lot of touching or beverages placed on it or anything. So I'm gonna test out this feed and wax wood conditioner. I'm also gonna check out this Minwax soft touch. The piece is still very wet. The tree just fell down a couple weeks ago. So we'll see. The feed and wax actually looks pretty good. The wood has soaked it up pretty nicely. That looks all right. It definitely doesn't bring out the grain as much. 
I think this one is a winning ticket. Okay, time to put the feet on. Time to put the rubber baby bumper bumpers on. The rubber bumper feet. We're gonna put them on the bottom right now. All right, three things really quick before I show the final delivery and shots for this project. First, thank you so much for watching. It's been awesome having you guys be a part of this journey. Secondly, we have affiliate links down in the description below for all my tools, for the smart light that I'm using, for the cord, everything you can buy on Amazon, I'm gonna have down in the description. We made 64 cents last time, which was awesome. It was a huge first step. Uh, for a baby youtuber and lastly I'm gonna be selling a couple of pieces from this log from 10 hundreds house I'm probably gonna make two more lamps. We'll see. I've got about four feet of the log left if you're interested Please send me an email my email address will be in the description below and when I have those pieces done I will contact you and let you know that they're ready and see if you're interested at that point. Thanks so much Let's deliver the lamp Brah. What's up, man? How's it going? What's happening, man? All right, man. I am super pumped to see what you made me out of that piece of wood. Yeah, dude. I'm stoked. Thank you so much for watching my video. It was a fun build. It's always a blast working with Peter. If you want to see his full studio tour, go check it out. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. Uh, also, it's not smoking or on fire, it was just a little extra added fog effect. Mm -hmm.